Hey friends, this is Atif. Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Voyager. Voyager is still moving inside a very long term down channel on the weekly time frame chart. And recently, uh, Voyager has formed another smaller channel as well. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. So let's start the analysis and first of all let me to begin with my uh, recent trade signal of Voyager that I shared a few days back on 13th of December that was a harmonic bullish reverse a guardless setup that Voyager uh, formed with US dollar pair on the daily time frame chart and if I play this chart then you can see that the price line has uh, started a nice reversal move from this potential reversal zone. And so far, it was very close to hit the sell target zone. Could not hit the sell target zone, but I'm expecting that soon it will hit the sell target zone. You can see it was quite close after this reversal move. And before that, I shared another harmonic bullish reversal regardless setup that uh, Voyager formed uh, with US dollar pair on the daily time frame chart. And when I shared this idea at that time, in fact, it was completing the final leg. Therefore, I told my members that we can wait for the price line to drop more down. And we have, by the way, very strong support here at 26 cents. Therefore, uh, the price line may not uh, break down the support. And after playing this chart, we can see that the price line tested the support of 26 cents, uh, 24 cents, not the 26 cents. And after testing this support, uh, went very close to this, uh, uh, this support, did not test the support, but it was very uh, close to test the support. And then from this potential reversal zone, uh, it rallied very well up to $1.19. That was, by the way, more than 350% in just few days. Now, let's move to this live weekly time frame chart. And if you are following my analysis and videos on Voyager, then you may know that we are following this downtrend line resistance of this down channel for the past several months. But so far, Voyager is not able to break out this resistance. And once Voyager will be able to break out this resistance, that will be a very, very nice entry for long term because after breaking out this down channel Voyager can start a very big move and a long term rally to the upside and recently we got rejected in the current uh, week as well if I switch to the daily time frame chart then you can see after the rejection the price line is moving sideways here but it has broken down the support of 35 cents now our next support is here at 25 cents and previously you can see this level has been breaking as a nice support here and here therefore if the price line will be completely rejected by this resistance of the channel and move more down, then it can test the support of 25 cents. I'm not expecting that it is going more down to test the support of the channel. Now, if we switch to the uh, hourly time frame chart, then here we have the formation of this up channel. A uh, few people uh, were calling it as bull flag. Uh, they were asking uh, about this bull flag formation, but this is not a bull flag because it is it is retraced more than uh, 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level. If we switch to the four hour time frame chart, then we can see that uh, after, uh, let me replace this Fibonacci tool uh, from this low to this high, then you can see it has retraced more than even 50%. So if it would not be retraced no, more than uh, 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level, this level, then it would be a bull flag, but you can see it is retraced more than 0.382, even more than 0 0.50, 0 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level. Therefore, it is not a bull flag. However, it is a bullish pass pattern, a, a down channel. Therefore, there is a probability that now the price line may break out the resistance of this down channel. And after the breakout, the target will be here at the top of the channel that will be approximately at 40 cents. And at 40 cents, we also have the resistance of the bigger uh, down channel as well. And for example, if it will be able to break out this bigger down channel, then our final target after the breakout from this bigger down channel will be here at the top of the channel. That will be approximately at $6. So this was the update so far. I hope that you've liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.